agriculture. We are just destroying the planet. We are cutting down trees and planting so much soy that we are then feeding to the cows instead of feeding it directly to people. And that's not good. Okay, we need to phase out cows and phase out pigs and phase out sheep and phase out these animals that we have bred and captivated for years. If you're against the gas chambers, what the Nazis did to the Jews, then you must be vegan. Can you explain to me why? Somebody here in class, I want you to tell me, think about it. If you're against stealing and you're against the way that the Nazis killed the Jews by putting them in gas chambers, why? Should you be vegan? What's the correlation there? Can you tell me? Yeah, I'm not sure about this slow chat. I don't know what to do. Should I switch rooms? Should I move the desk away? Should I move around? I'm in a hotel room. Sorry. Anyway, you should be vegan because it is the right thing to do. Because right now they kill pigs by putting them in gas chambers. It's terrible. Thank you very much for everybody who's giving me these little gifts and for sharing this live. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. But you, you have a heart. You know where to start. So sing this song and be vegan from now on. There you go. You asked for it. I did it. I'm your servant. I'm here to serve you, to help you to be vegan. Thank you, Charlie, for the rose. Thank you, Claire, for the, the cloud bread. Thank you so much. <sighs> no plants don't feel pain. You guys, you understand the difference between science and pseudoscience? Pseudoscience is bullshit lies. Science is actual facts, okay? It's a fact that if you drop something, it's gonna go down. It's just something called gravity, right? So what I'm telling you is the fact, something that actually happens. And you can just think in your own head that you think that plants feel pain, but it's a fact that they don't, okay? Plants can move and they can react to sunlight. And yes, they grow. You could say that they are alive, but they do not feel pain. That is why they were designed to not be able to move or run away, okay? Animals, when pain comes towards them, they are designed to be able to run away, try to save themselves. Same as fish, same as birds, okay? Plants, they just sit there. Plants grow and they give us a wonderful present and it's called fruit. Plants give us a gift. Apples, pears, lemons, bananas. Plants give us a gift. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. That is why we should be eating plants and not hurting animals, okay? I'm not gonna play songs today, sweetheart, because I am in a hotel room in Texas and I'm, I don't have a sound system here. I'm here just to chat a little bit and to thank you guys for following me. Thank you for following Ben. Thank you, Kai, for being here. You're not, I say, it says, I'm not vegan, but I do not support animal harm. What? Okay, there's a person named Milan Martin. Milan, listen to me carefully, Milan. You're saying you're not vegan. But in big letters you wrote, but I do not support animal harm. You are literally supporting animal harm when you eat them. You are giving your money to support somebody killing them. <gasps> What's this? Paper crane. Thank you for the paper crane. I appreciate it. Let's get back to you, Milan. Okay? If you say that you don't support animals being harmed, then stop eating them. Stop buying leather. Stop buying wool. Do not buy silk. Do not go to circuses. Do not go to places like SeaWorld where they take these beautiful whales out of the ocean and they take the beautiful dolphins out of the oceans and they force them into a swimming pool. That's forcing. That's physically taking these innocent animals and forcing them somewhere. I'm not forcing you. I'm talking to you. I'm encouraging you. I'm giving you facts. Okay, it's a big difference. To, for those of you who don't understand the difference between forcing and talking, that's the difference, okay? Hi, Cornelia. Mm, thank you for being here. What do you do to keep your iron normal? I eat spinach. What you can do is to make sure that your iron is good is iron is more easily absorbed when you have fruit with it, okay? Thank you for the birds, thank you. 
So when you're making your smoothie in the morning, okay, here's what you do. You take, take spinach, you put it into a blender. It's very important that you have a blender. It really is something that's so helpful as a vegan. I think all you vegans here would agree, right? Having a blender is really great. You take a bunch of spinach and you put it in your blender. I don't mean just like a few flakes. I mean, you put it in, you pack it down there, okay? Put spinach in the blender. You need more greens every day to stay healthy. So then you put some fruit in there. So if you put some fruit, like some pineapple, some mango, or you put an orange in there, whatever. You can do whatever you want, you know, just after that. The most important thing is you get this spinach in there. You can use water or you can use soy milk or oat milk. And then you blend it all together and you drink that. Now make sure that when you're having your food, your, such as your smoothie, your iron, you don't have it at the same time as coffee because it won't absorb as quickly. Okay, so what you can do is just start off your day with a healthy vegan smoothie, drink that, put that in your body first. Thanks for the dart in the heart. And you're gonna feel so great. My lips are super dry now, I gotta get some cream. Can you guys wait while I do that? Can you just wait one sec? Okay, those of you who are here, tell everybody, Miss Katie will be right back in about, I don't know, 45 seconds, okay? I'll be right back. Where is my cream? Where is it? Okay. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm coming right back. Coming right back. Don't have a heart attack. Stay vegan. From now on, hey, you stayed. Thank you. Well, somebody stayed. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I brought some things. Look, so you see this? This says, vegan because I care beyond myself. Did you know that this is actually backwards in real life? And so is my shirt. This is backwards in real life. Mm -hmm. So you see, look, what I did is I have a sign like this. Now, to you guys, this looks backwards now, right? But when I look at this, it's not backwards. So I suggest you make some of these really easy. Just get an elastic. You make yourself a little sign on a cardboard. You can plastify it if you want, but you don't have to. You can also put like tape on it to keep it nice and you just wear that around if you don't have a shirt, okay? This shirt is actually in real life also painted backwards. Thank you for saying I'm amazing and thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Hey, thank you for joining, Fred. Johanna, hi. Who else is joining here? Loki Laka, whatever your name is. <laughs> Susanna joined. Thanks for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. Kim, thank you so much for the rose. <gasps> Thanks for the flowers, Ari. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here and being as vegan as possible. And by the way, happy vegan declaration day to everyone who decided to be vegan right now. What's the date, guys? Write it down. Take a piece of paper. Write down Happy Vegan Declaration Day. And then write your name there with an exclamation point. Okay, today is the day, guys. Today, there's 3,800 of you right now here. I want you to take a piece of paper. Okay, just look around. Just look around, okay? Find a little paper, a little notepad, and write on there Happy Vegan Declaration Day and write your name on it. And then write the date. I don't even know what the date is, actually. Let me see if I can find it on my computer. Okay, so it's the 21st, okay? January 21st. So write down Happy Vegan Declaration Day, January 21st, 2023. And that's your day. You're gonna be so proud, okay? Because if you just stick to being vegan, one day you're gonna, people are gonna ask you, what's your vegan declaration day? And you're gonna go, January 21st. That's the day I saw Miss Katie and I decided to be vegan. You can do it. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to everybody. Now, for those of you who are parents watching, it is your moral responsibility to keep your child's virgin virginity intact. And by that, I mean their vegan virginity, okay? You have no right to put death into your child's mouth. You have no right to do that. Your child does not consent to you paying people to hurt animals on their behalf. So you, what you do is you make sure you give your child healthy vegan foods. That's what you do. You buy lentils, you get, here's what you can do. So it's the, the easiest possible thing for a school lunch, okay? Moms, dads, teenagers, the easiest possible thing for a school lunch. I'm talking like super easy, okay? Like nothing fancy, okay? You buy a can of lentils, right? You buy a jar of applesauce. You get your kid's container and you pour them in and you stir it up. How easy is that, right? You've now given your child two whole foods, lentils and apples. 
Okay, get the applesauce. I try to use things without sugar, right? Because you don't need the added sugar or added salts, right? So what did I say? Let's go over it. School lunch, okay? I'm talking about people who are, I'm not gonna call you lazy, okay? I'm just gonna call you like efficient and you just wanna give your kids something. Now I did this for my kids for years and they now my daughter, she's she has a daughter, I'm a grandmother. Now my daughter feeds her daughter, guess what? Lentils and applesauce. It's so easy, all right? So what I say? Super easy lunch. If you really are just don't have any time, you really don't want to hurt the animals, okay? Buy a ton of cans of lentils and applesauce, and you just mix them together. Just mix it in the container, shut the container, and off you go to school, off you go to work. People are gonna be like, what the hell is that? And you're gonna be like, it's my vegan lunch. What the hell is that? It looks weird. Oh, fuck off. That's what you just tell them. Because you say, look, I'm vegan because I don't want to hurt the animals, all right? Now I'm gonna switch this. Okay, this says vegan because I care beyond myself. And you, hopefully you care beyond yourself. But I'm gonna take this off now. I'm gonna show you. So you see I have this, this thing. It's, I can't remember where I got this one, but it's, you know, it's just a little circle, right? And then I have other ones, I have other ones. Now this one says vegan because you're not a baby cow, okay? So I go like this, whoop, do that. See, now this one also, I have written on both sides. See, that one to you guys looks backwards now, right? But to me, this looks the right way. And then on this side, it's backwards. This is for live because my live, for some reason, my reverse function doesn't work. My mirror function is broken. So you have to be creative, you know? When the world gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When the world, TikTok gives you a, a TikTok channel that doesn't reverse, you just do your best. Okay, so vegan because you're not a baby cow. Vegan because you're not a baby cow. Vegan, let me show you how. You can be vegan, it's very easy. And it will make you feel so happy. Be vegan, you can do it. You're not a baby cow, you shouldn't be going underneath a cow and drinking from a cow. How fucked up is that when you think about it? If a cup hadn't been invented yet, and it was time for you to eat your cereal, would you really go underneath a cow and just start pulling on the cow and just putting it into your cereal? Would you do that? Most people would be like, no, I'm good. I'll have some oat milk instead. No, I'm fine. Have some soy milk instead, right? Right. You don't need to hurt animals. You don't need to push babies, baby cows away and then steal their milk. Cow's milk is for baby cows. Dog milk is for that's right, baby dogs, puppies, okay? Giraffe milk, is giraffe milk for you? Good answer, you're right, it's not. All right, be vegan from now on. Thank you, Ari, for spamming all these beautiful veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. I'm super happy to see that. Thank you to the person who is spamming all the wonderful vegan meats. Wow, what did you spam there? Vegan sausages, oh, it's good. Vegan, what is that? Vegan wings, yes. Vegan wings, they taste almost like chicken wings. This is almost exactly like chicken wings, but they're made out of shiitake mushrooms. And you can't tell the difference, it's so good. Yeah. All right, thanks for being here, guys. Um, have I ever been on a farm? You know what, a big farm, I have been on many farms. And the fact of the matter is that the farms that you see outside, that is not the reality for where all the meat comes from, from McDonald's, they make the animals suffer. Factory farms are hell on earth. And if you don't believe me, go and watch the documentaries. One of them is called Dominion. Watch Dominion on YouTube. Dominion, memorize it. I mean, actually watch it. Don't just be here typing all kinds of crap without even educating yourself. Okay, go. If you haven't watched Dominion yet, go watch Dominion and come back. Or watch a short one called watch, don'twatch.org. That's, um, that's only seven or eight minutes long. Thanks for being vegan and thank you for sending me all these little gifts, guys. You are super, super sweet. I really appreciate it. Thank you to 3,600 new followers. You guys are awesome. Truly, I really appreciate it so much. Thank you for 177 people who gave me little gifts. Really appreciate that so much because it shows you're kind. It shows that you are kind and that you care about the animals and you don't want to hurt them. I know in your hearts you don't want to hurt animals. Guess what? You were born vegan. Isn't that mind boggling to think about? Because being vegan is about being compassionate and kind. When you're born, you haven't yet hurt any animals, 
right? You haven't made the conscious decision. Well, you know, I'm just going to go and pay for some suffering. You didn't do that. And so that's why you were vegan. And that's why you can go back to being vegan. Okay. Go back to being vegan. Go back to your roots. Declare it. I will be a born again vegan. <laughs> Sounds religious, right? But it's not. Veganism isn't about religion. Veganism is not a cult. Carnism is a cult. Carnism is a crazy thing that you're indoctrinated in from birth. It's racism against the animals. Are you against racism? Raise your hand if you're against racism. Okay, well, thank you for the little gift. Thank you for the panda, Victor. Thank you so much for the gift. If you're against racism, you should be vegan. You must be, hey! Watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar party. Thank you for sending me that gift that made me happy. Thank you for all the watermelons you put below. That's super cute. I love you. All right, what was I saying? Right, so you were born vegan and you can go back to your, your roots. Hello, how's it going? I love you too.